Okay, air tour You're guide. Tour guide. Error. Response not recognized. Response not recognized. Welcome, Patriot. So what do I ask? Boston, common. The start of the Freedom Trail. Tell me about the Freedom Trail. Starting here at Boston, common. Follow the red path as it winds its way through our great city's streets. Markers on the trail are placed at many famous historic sites. See Paul Revere's house, the old North Church, the old State House, Bunker Hill, and many more. Okay. So, Bunker Hill and many more. I guess I'm following this trail right here. The red line. Not gonna lie, the first time I, I played this game many years ago, I couldn't even tell where the trail started or ended. So I, I didn't even know what this this line was. Uh, so I was like, what, what trail? What, what trail are you talking about? Four. Oh, this is the state house. That's the state house. No, definitely a code. Uh, that building actually exists in real life. Out there in Boston. In better condition, of course. But uh, it's out there. So this turns right and weaves back down. We'll head back down here. Here's around this street. And then here's another location. The old burying ground. Okay, Franklin was buried here, it appears. This is the burial site of Benjamin Franklin on killing one of his aunts right now. Now that I've killed the entire uh, Franklin family in ghoul form, we can move on with the Freedom Trail. Heading this way. And it's abruptly ended because of debris. Okay, that's lovely. Well, rats. Die, super mutant! You're good at following orders. I'm just gonna bug out of there. Oh, here! The Freedom Trail has resumed! Now it's taking us this way. Now a six. Now a six and. and... A marker, old state house. Okay, built in 1713, the old state house is the oldest public building in Boston. During the years before the Revolutionary War, this building was a hotbed for ideas and ideals that would result in rev revolution. It was here that John Adams said the child independence was born. In 1770, right outside these doors, the Boston Massacre took place and five American colonists died inciting rage against the British occupation. The old state house was the seat of Massachusetts government until the new state house was constructed in 1798. Very nice. Very nice. And it goes this way. Okay, I assume it just goes down the street. And it continues. A bookstore. Bottom caps. Three I. Three I. Okay. Shock. It seems like the the numbers are the order that the letters go in, and you know I would I would tussy with those guys, but uh, the trail goes this way, so sorry. I'm not not to mess with you guys. All right, 
Alright, what's this? Oh, look. And you will haul. We've got dogs. Also, rocket launcher. I'll go ahead and cook up immune hot meat. Oh, ow. I was hoping that it would take him a little longer to fire. Or at least that he would miss, or something like that. But that didn't take long for this fellow. Hi there! Aren't you a derpy folk? Big ol' rocket launcher on you. That's just instant death every time. Hmm, maybe I want to get out a gun. Maybe I will mess with you. I, I gotta figure something out to get this guy. Okay. Got my bat out. Maybe I can disappear. Okay, maybe I can sneak around the building and disappear. I wanted a fight. Ah, what's that? Bam. That's the best way of dealing with it. Missile Launcher Plus. Thank you. Okay, where's where's Dogme, by the way? I hear something. Yo, psst. Trade real quick. Oh, he's got a stim pack. Great. Weapons. Uh here, take the fat man and take the missile launcher. And that was the missile launcher plus, right? Yeah, okay. I get no fight today. No fight today. He sounds so disappointed. No fight today. Wind it up! Oh, excellent! Beautiful bayoneted tuned sniper weapon. Could be useful. Stim pack and psycho. I'm glad it came up here. Okay, back to the freedom trail. Comes this way. And then it disappears again. Oh, it goes this way. Eighteen X. Hound. 
And I'll eat you later. And what happened? Oh, I clicked off the screen. How is that even possible? It's a full screen application. Hey, shot me dead. Let's see, where were we? This direction, and then around the corner where the super mutants. Someone there? Gonna splatter your brain! Come on, get him! This is really super important. I was healing! God, his weapon's powerful! Son of a gun. I should be closer, though. I saved right around the corner. They need a tuned sniper rifle. 37 damage. Fragmentation grenade. Cool pistol. Improved laser pistol. Okay, let's uh let's go ahead and favorite this real quick. I can do this. I didn't get the sneak attack. I'm very disappointed. It's all because of these stupid hounds. And then he shoots me to death. I need to get that sneak attack. If I can just sneak up on him, it'll all be over. But maybe I should just shoot him. I really should shoot him. It's just, why am I so averse to shooting? It's like, it's not so bad. <sighs> Two times damage. There we go. I hate you, mutant hounds. You've ruined my sneak attacks on these mutants. Really spoiled all of my fun here. Ooh, look at that. Damage resistance while reloading. That's crappy, because how often do you reload and how long do you reload? Especially if you get that perk to lower reload time, like you're just reducing the bonus from that weapon. It's it's a pointless perk on a weapon. I hate, I hate that perk on the on the weapons. It's like it's a it's a non perk. It's like oh hey it's it's gonna be worth more when you sell it. <laughs> That's it. Okay now I gotta get the the marker again. All right. Eight D next. Eight D next. Isn't that great? Am I going the right way? Did I did I miss a turn? I did miss a turn. It goes here. 
That's hilarious. I got my bonus XP. <laughs> when I find the old North, North Church. Okay, well. Derp, there it is. The old North, North Church. What will we find in here? Flip lighter. I like those. <laughs> Tablespoon. It's bottle cap and pre-war money. You just had money on you. Okay, we've got something over here. Toy rocket ship. Creepy place. Wait, what's this? Can't read it. Broom. Wait, something was in this. I like that ghouls are really weak to me. That's that's nice. I appreciate that. Makes me feel good. At least one enemy is weak to me. And to be honest, Super Mutants aren't that strong to me either. I'm doing pretty well against them. Okay. Well, here we are. Look at this. Boston, the Freedom Trail. Something's not right. Kill that ghoul. Okay, so I've got to do something. Mm, it spins. Mm, it spins. It really spins. Okay. There's one. So it starts with R? It starts with R. What could it be? I mean, she only said we needed to contact the railroad. I just wish we could spin it counterclockwise. Can I spin it counterclockwise? Count I can spin it counterclockwise. Rail. Road. I have to get to O's. Closest to O's. You're spinning it the wrong way. Good. Did that do it? There we go. Quick save. That that just that took a while. Circuit breaker. Okay. Stop. Oh, there they are. There. You went through a lot. So of you do have lights. Meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? I'm a scavenger. <laughs> I'm just exploring, looking for salvage. Hmm, and you just happened to guess the <laughs> password to the secret door. Right. Who told you how to contact us? Dr. Amari told me how to find you. Very interesting. Last question. Why are you here? 
Close to the vest, to the point. I found a courser chip. Can your people decode it? You have what? This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my invitation? Oh, I see you invited the courser killer. Nice. Deacon, you're late. You're saying this intruder actually killed a courser? Single-handedly? <laughs> oh, that'd give even Gloria a run for her money. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. Thanks, I am. I'm him, kind of a big deal. Show this courser murdering machine a little courtesy. Hmm? That's right. You're gonna I owe you show me apology. some courtesy. Anyone who kills a courser is good in my book. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. Diplomatic, sarcastic. I'm gonna be sarcastic. Oh yeah, yeah. The little riddles and the decoder ring trick really makes it hard to find you. Anyone that wants to meet us is under surveillance as soon as they follow the Freedom Trail. If you were a threat to our organization, all you'd find here is an empty room. Des, we need to let him in. Wow, He's they made a big mistake. Courser chip, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that. He killed a courser. There's no way he's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside. Okay. Let's try to keep this very brief with these guys. I don't want to lead them on. The Brotherhood, I don't mind, you know, betraying, but, uh... These guys... Yeah, it seems... Seems really like a waste of time if you do that. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Okay. They have the right man for the job. Hey, dude. You need something? Tom, our visitor here has a courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh, man, it's been ages! Right. Some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, we get the courser chip. No way. That chip is mine. To anybody else in the Commonwealth, all you have is two caps worth of salvage. With us, that data is priceless. But we're not just going to give that away. Talk to me again if you change your mind. Okay. Hey there. So, I have to give it to him. We decode the courser chip for you, but after that, it's ours. Deal? Fine. It's Fine. yours. All right. It's yours. They drive Fine. a hard bargain. Make it happen. It's impossible. I might have to steal that back later. The Institute might want that back. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors in there. What? Oh man, don't don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh man, they've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be. Come on, baby, show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait, they're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. You, you institute bastard, I got you! Soft way in. Come on. Show me that sweet base now. I'm gonna get it. Hey, don't try it. Hey, we got it. stranger. We got the code! <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. Okay. So they decoded it. I've got to return to Virgil. But I got my eyes open. I see. That's, that's good. I can talk to her for more. But I'm not going to. 
I've got what I came for. Hey, stupid Steve! Welcome. Your internet was out? Sorry to hear that, buddy. I hate internet being out. Uh, just so you know, I'm probably only going to be playing another hour before I'm getting done here. Anything. We've been playing for five and a half hours, so... Talk to the boss. Another hour is pretty much it for me. Uh, so let's take a look at our data and make sure that that is all I need from them. Return to Virgil. Yes, that is it. All right. Yeah, I really don't want to have much to do with the railroad right now. Cool. So I need to exit the church to do that, uh, to fast travel. There's a huge storm where you were. Oh yeah, storms Storms do that. They knock out uh, power and telephone and internet all the time. Glad you got up and running though. I hate to be without internet for more than a day. It gets, it gets rough after that. I get so bored. I mean, mainly because the internet is my primary source of television. You know, I don't I don't watch regular television. So, I mean, without that, there's TV, there's books, there's... I mean, heck, every form of entertainment is serviced by the internet nowadays. I suppose I could play, you know, my downloaded Steam games without internet for a little while. I've done that. It's not quite as fun. Okay, I've got one cookie left. It's the last cookie. Very last of the. What are these? Uh... Yeah, gingerbread cookies. To the Rocky Cave. The Green Reaper Sprint Perk. Kills have a chance and I couldn't read it. I actually loaded here that fast. Apparently the glowing sea is like really quick to load. Probably because it's just all rock. There's very few assets to load, I suppose. Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need. Oh, yeah, I killed the courser. Nah, I just went out for a little stroll. Thought I'd stop back and say hi. It's a good thing your survival and my humanity aren't at stake. Otherwise, I might be annoyed by your attitude. <laughs> but, fine. I shouldn't have doubted you'd come back. You did get rid of Kellogg, after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? Ah, the, railroad. the railroad helped me. Oh God, those kooks! I, I know, never right? Expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines or setting computer terminals free, or sorry. Uh, you gotta go. Your internet's complete they just trash. Have All right. Something of a reputation. You're Take not care. the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could, from memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the simple explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. Oh dang! All the data's on harmonic frequencies. I didn't know that. Been hearing it all along. That's crazy. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. 
Okay. Your confidence is staggering. I'm just <laughs> saying, I can't guarantee it'll work. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. Can I build this it? This is a lot for one person. Yes. Even you. Yes, I can build it. Don't doubt me. Have I given you reason to doubt me? No. But do you realize how critical this is for both of us? And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So sure. you find it. Now go on. Take these okay, signal interceptor work. plans. You do whatever it takes. It's optional to talk to anybody. You know to help you. Oh, I can talk to the Brotherhood. Oh, the Brotherhood can help me. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll use them again. They can be super useful about this. Go, Brotherhood! <laughs> I use them to get power armor. I'm going to use them for this as well. Technically, I could do this on my own, but what would it take? I mean, seriously. I should I should head back to the Red Rocket truck stop and see what it, what it, it would take to, to build it. I bet it wouldn't be too hard. Let's find out. Because if I can do it alone, I'll ditch all of the factions right now. Nothing would make me happier. Talk me, found something. Woof. Okay, he found junk in there. Neat. Thank you, dog meat. Okay, so... Let's work with the workshop. So what do we have? We've got structures, we've got... Resources, fence, cages, rears. Um... I don't know if it's... I don't think it's in here right away. Just right off the bat. A power generator switches conduits. Wait, we've got the carrier signal and stuff. So, data. I think I need help with one of them. Yeah, I've got to. I've got to ask. I've got to ask one of the factions. Oh, okay. So yeah, they're basically forcing you to to use one of the factions. Well, it's it's fine that I'm here because I need to transfer junk. Over, which is Let cool. Know if there's anything did I get a level up, by the way? Load. Just wondering. Probably not. I did not. Okay. I did get Slugger. I upped that by one. Blacksmith, I want to upgrade. Uh, next level, I should be able to because the next rank is level 16. So that's perfect. Or, so that's know, common. Alright, let's go threat. to the Pridwin. What's this? Oh, yeah. Talk... Talk to the Minutemen. That's that's entirely optional. Uh, again, I'm avoiding the Minutemen entirely until I'm done with the Nuka World DLC. Because I don't want to anger Preston Garvey. And if you do Nuka World before you talk to Preston Garvey, he doesn't know who you are. So thus he has no hard feelings about what you've done. Which is excellent. Talk to about this. 
I think I know. Finish familiarizing yourself with the Pridwin's personnel. Then meet me on the flight deck. Okay. I've got to talk to... Mr. Technical Documents Guy. It's worth a few... a fair few extra caps anyway. Couldn't hurt to... Uh, utilize the extra caps until... completely worn out. Good. Welcome. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll uh, get to them as soon the as books. I can. The books? Books? What? Not even a thank you? I hardly need to... Oh my. It appears <laughs> I've mistaken you for someone else. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Just learning my way around the Pridwin. Learning your way around? Ah, I see. You're the new recruit that Paladin Dance described in his report. Yes, Under I've got a... Circumstances, I provide you heck of a batting average, of my you could say. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. I could... I could help. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them. Who is this guy that just walked in, in between us? It was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Pleasure to meet you. Okay, now I can talk to... Now I can talk to Maxon again. Finish familiarizing yourself with the Pridwin's personnel. Then meet me on the flight deck. Elder Maxim, I have a set of plans to build a signal interceptor to get me inside the Institute. An intriguing proposal that I'll have to seriously consider. However, before I allow any of my soldiers to breach the Institute, careful preparations need to be made. Yes. In the meantime, I need you to follow my orders and remain patient. I did... Why wait? Why wait when we have a way inside right now? I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I need you to view this from my perspective. I'm not willing to risk the lives of my soldiers based solely on a set of crudely no, drawn plans. You could, you could wait me. It's time to you, you, could, the you could risk me. Discovered. Risk then me. When the time is right, I promise. Yeah, you, send me in. I'll do everything in my power to construct that device. You're dismissed uh, now. Great. Uh, you're just useless. All right, he wants me to do more stuff around here uh, and what was it we've got optional talk to the brotherhood I did talk to him investigate radio broadcast oh yeah I gotta meet Proctor Tegan and Ingram all right they're they're probably down here I didn't I didn't talk to everybody I think once I talk to them he should allow me to advance with this <laughs> come on I've got a set of stuff. A set of blueprints. Let's let's do this. Huh? Don't hold me up. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. I can handle myself. Hey, if Paladin Dance vouched for you, that's good enough for me. You just don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. Okay. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground. Yeah, my, my power uh, armor's too tight in the wire, crotch. Could you, you could you check it out right now? While you're at it, my car is making this weird grinding noise when I back it out of the driveway. <laughs> you're gonna have to take a number. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Okay. 
I understand, or... I hardly noticed. Hmm. Can't tell if you're patronizing me or trying to be polite. How about I just forget <laughs> you mentioned it? Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. Yeah, I already the picked that up, thank you. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Didn't, oh, didn't and notice if you need sticky. any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Okay. Cool. And I gotta talk to this guy? Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't fight. Not really here to chit-chat. I had orders to meet the crew. Rules, rules, rules. Everyone around here is so obsessed with the damn rules. I know, right? I hope you're not another one of those by-the-book military types. Now, this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, I'm the ship's quartermaster. Hey, welcome Proctor back, St. Cats. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. So if I'm out of caps, I guess I'll just defeat the enemy with my bare hands. There's plenty of spare ammo and equipment all It's funny, because I actually do defeat them with my bare hands. Anything you can find. Well, and a bat. Everything in here is a bit more specialized and unique. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. As long as I don't end up in the brig. Don't worry. Last thing I'd want to do is get our newest recruit in trouble. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local folks. Yeah, I'm not and since I'm interested stuck out here manning this one at all. zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, okay. if you ever need anything else, gun, mod, even ammo, you just let me know. I, I'll, I'll, I'll let you... Tegan. What can no. I get for you today? I gotta let me see what stuff. you have. Sure, I've got something that'll put a smile on mm -hmm. Let's put a smile on that face. Anyway. I've got weapons. Uh, here's an automatic institute pistol. Bloodied machete, which I was going to test out and try to upgrade. Both sided stuff. Yeah, that's all the stuff that I've had for a while. Lots of shock batons. That's uh, worth some some caps. Uh, here's a tactical pipe, action pistol. Not a lot of damage on that. I'm just gonna sell it. Cancel the trade. No. I just wish that that would also ask you if you want to confirm the trade. Like, why, why not just program it to have that ask if you want to confirm the trade? That would just make things so much simpler, so much easier to back out of menus. But no, it's gotta be super specific. Hit, hit the specific button, or don't hit any buttons at all. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna check on the machete. Weapon bench? Weapon bench. Okay, where's the machete? Yes, here it is. E to modify. Let's take a look at the upgrade. Serrated blade. That's pretty much all I can do. Blacksmith 2 it would take. But to upgrade the damage from wherever it is to 65. And it's not very good, which means I'm probably going to sell it. Here, take the machete. Please. Proctor Teagan. Can I help you with anything? Set me up. Be my guest. Okay. Machete. Where, where is it? Oh. Specifically called Bloody. Alright. I'm amassing my wealth. Hail Knight. Very, very really slowly. My armor adjusted while I'm here. Okay, now I'm going to talk with Maxon again. Hopefully we can advance this quest line and tie it up with a nice little bow. Uh, he left his little room there, his briefing room. He's out on the deck. 
He said he would be there. He's probably gonna give me a bunch of other missions now, isn't he? There you are. Elder Maxon? Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Kirkland's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Yes. Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super I'm crying. Fort Having Strong. those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I can totally I use head those. Over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby. Fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. All right, let's do it. We have to do this to uh, to advance to get to the institute. So, sadly, I don't think we're going to be able to get to the institute today, but we will in tomorrow's stream. It's going to take us to the airport, and then we're going to do this mission. At the end of this mission, I'm going to wrap up the stream. We're going to roll the credits for all of the awesome people who followed and did awesome stuff in tonight's stream. And then we're going to uh, raid another small local streamer. So do stay tuned for that uh, because it does make people's days if you do raid them. Makes them very happy and cheers them up. And I just remember the the very first raid that I got. If, if it's the first time that that we raid somebody, it's just gonna it's just gonna mean the world to them for a good week or two. Okay, and did we get to the right vertebrate? It says this one. We just we just came down here on this vertebrate. I think the Fort Strong vertebrate is out here, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's over here. Where is it? Oh, now I'm really lost. What happened? Pooch knows what he's doing. Don't question dog meat. Dog meat's the greatest. It says go up, but I I doubt that. I'm gonna look at. Oh yeah. Okay. So optional talk to the Brotherhood. Local map. Yeah, it's it's like it's like over What? I might have to take I might have to take this back up. No, 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 no. It's, something's wrong here. I, I'm missing something. This goes back to the Pridwin. I'm confused. What the heck happened? It's, it very specifically said, go to this vertebrate, and then there's another vertebrate at the airport. And I remember it being at the airport, but now I can't seem to find it at the airport. Maybe I can see from up here. Where is it from up here? That's the one you take to get to and from this location. Is there a vertebrate parked? else we're here or is it just this one it might be this one yeah let's board this one welcome aboard knight 
Yeah, see, there it is. That's the gunship. Yeah, that, that was that was silly. So uh, apparently, I don't have this mission. Show no mercy. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Very cool. I've been very lucky that it's been daytime, about midday, every time I've ridden a vertebrate. That is excellent. Get that Myrler Hunter! Kill it! Injure the other one! Seriously, guys? You're, you're not gonna... Whoa, that's a behemoth. I don't think I can shoot the rocks out of this guy. I'm trying to shoot the rocks out of his hand, but I, I'm not doing it. gun has glitched out. It's not running anymore. Jeez. That was bonkers. Legendary Butcher. Boy, this guy's tough. He's also using cover a lot. Fort Strong. Bottle cast. I'm sure that'll lead everybody. Chameleon Neofilament Synth Piece. Enemies have a harder time detecting you while you are sneaking and not moving. He had a, look at that, his backpack was a shopping cart. Fusion cells, deathclaw meat. You know, a deathclaw steak might be pretty healing. All right, let's do this. Annoyed. 
Ah, it's a novice lock. I kind of want to just go around. What? Who's there? Uh, I hear something. Gotta be a. This guy is a little tougher. Most of the super mutants I've dealt with are. like, really easy. Only one of us survives this! Yeah, that's gonna be me. Spoilers. Only one of us survives this. I'm cool with that. Were, were you gonna be disappointed by that? Okay, I need to drink stuff. Vittori, aid. Okay, Nuka Cola. Let's go with ice cold ale. God, he's tough. God, he's tough. <coughs> what is his armor? Look! Look at your death! Okay, let's uh Ooh, let's uh let's eat some of these these hound meats. And this is action points, which I need. Got a lucky machete. Critical shots do double damage, and the critical fills faster. I, you know, once I get blacksmith all the way up, that could actually be very good. I could be very happy with that eventually. I'm so sorry, dog meat. Okay, he's recovered. Lots off cocktail. Jeez, that guy was tough. Tough as nails. There's the elevator. I'll wear your dust around my There we go. And some extra XP for that. Stupid dog! I know, that's why I have him. He's wonderful! Have you met dog meat? He's great. Okay. Ah, upstairs. Okay, elevator time. Let's heal up on some death claw meat. Hmm. 
didn't make quite a fortune on all the ammo that I'm never gonna use. Being a melee character has its benefits. Scissors, never run with those. Never do that. Actually, hold on. Take the scissors. I'm running! <laughs> I'm a rebel. Yes. Short pipe rifle. Suck. It would be great if, um, if you run just after you loot scissors. They they dealt like one point of damage. Just just for funsies. I'd take that one point of damage. Uh, that'd be great. Scissors. I'm running with them. Okay. I gotta stay hidden though. Bobby pin, wonder glue. Okay. Yes, we should move north, branch out, and hunt. Yes, we should move north, branch out, and hunt. Oh. What? Who's there? Ah, I didn't get the sneak attack. Critical strike. Stupid dog. Oh, you look tough. And yes, you are. Okay, I've got to have a different plan. <laughs> we should move south. Range out. What's my plan? Bayonet a rifle. I, 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 what, what, what am I gonna do? Oh, this only does ten damage. No wonder I hate it. Um. Well, let's change that. Try to stay right here until they're in no range. Fight today. No fight today. No fight today. So boring. So boring. No sneak attack. Okay, grenade time. I'm I'm getting the grenades out. It's frag grenades all over this place. Okay. Inventory. Reputation grenade. This is gonna be on four. Out there, somewhere. 
Yay! More of you? Very nice! That went well. Mentats? Terminal? Okay, let's read. Bravo team, oh, that's a lot of reports. I didn't want to do this much reading. Things are getting through, or getting tough around here. Rock has decided to split our men into two teams. I drew one of the short straws, so I ended up with M42 Fat Man Launcher team, while most of my buddies are sitting pretty upstairs with their T551B suits. I can't even begin to describe what a ridiculous idea the M42 is. A man portable mini nuke, th nuke thrower that is a that a trooper in the field is supposed to deploy at close range. I've been poring over the schematics and I have no idea how we're going to get this thing to throw a warhead far enough not to kill the soldier unlucky to be struck with these death traps. Yeah, that's these things are terrible. We've stripped the warhead weight down as much as possible, but I think we're looking at this the wrong way. Instead of trying to reduce the warhead weight, we should try to amp the power up on the thrower itself. I know that means adding weight to an already heavy piece of ordnance, but I don't think we have any choice. One of the guys suggested we try magnets to push the warhead out like a railgun, but the power pack would need to be the size of a suitcase. I'll keep picking away at the problem and see if I if what I can turn up. We lost two good soldiers this morning. They were on the surface testing the Merv variant of the launcher when one of the warheads misfired and hit the ground right in front of where they were standing. Poor bastards didn't even have a chance. We couldn't even find any remains to send home to their folks. So Brock told us to just fill some cans with sand. I'll tell you, that guy doesn't even give a crap about us. He's just worried about the brass back in Washington giving us a hard time, or him a hard time. I was in bed last night, and I had one of those eureka moments. I ran over the, to the night shift, guys in the lab swept all of their drawings on the floor and started sketching my idea. They must have thought I'd lost my mind. Six hours and 14 cups of coffee later, I had it all mapped out. We'd use a small subcharge as a launching catalyst to catapult the warhead from the launcher. We'd have plenty of range, and the subcharge could be built into the warhead itself. Rock seemed to like the plan and gave us the go-ahead to prototype the device. I can't wait to try it out. It took the better part of a year and over a hundred test firings, the M42 is ready to be shipped into the field. I can't believe I spent over a year on a single project. I feel pretty good knowing we're delivering a well-tested firing weapon to our guys fighting overseas. Now that it's over, I suppose Brock will move us into something else. But uh, for now, I'm going to spend the rest of these months packing up these warheads and ship off base. Okay, so that's the full story of how he developed the Merv Launcher. All right, microscope. Okay, test tube racks. A whole bunch of junk. All right, soft shell mire like me. Okay, yeah, that's good for a steak. Mutant hound. Missiles, Missile Launcher Plus. I already have one of those on dog meat. Duct tape. Scalpel, I bet that's more dangerous than running with scissors. Oh yeah! There's two mini nukes. And there's deconstructed mini nukes. Why couldn't you be reconstructed? Because I need more of you. Impacts and purified water. And that looks like it. 
There's nothing down there, so there's there's no reason to, to bother. Okay, it looks like I've cleared the place out. I hope this is it. I hope they let me move on with... There's Dance. Paladin, look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Uh, just following orders. I was just doing what Elder Maxon asked. No more, no less. Well, it's good to see you dealt with them the Brotherhood way. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been fighting for I years, don't care about that. trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything that we hold maybe? dear. <sighs> Look. We don't know I that. I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Got it. Got it. Um... Enough preaching already. I get it. Hmm. I suppose you're right. <laughs> and judging from the corpses around here, you don't appear to need much in the way of motivation. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. All right, let's do that. Sounds exactly like plan. As soon as you vacate the doorway. Oof. Good. And it's an elevator. I get really impatient with that uh, tongue flick that you're supposed to do to to make rings. It's it's actually a pretty tricky tongue flick. Like, you're supposed to tuck your tongue back, but you're supposed to flick it out, and you're supposed to push it out. It's not easy. I was hoping I would find the upgraded launcher there, though. The regular Fat Man launcher is kind of weak. But if I could find the upgraded launcher there, that'd be great. The electromagnetic launcher. Still... They did develop it here. Huh. Speaking of which, if they developed it here, what if it's out back? Didn't they do test firings all over the place? Cigar box? No, nothing? Lame. Finding a secret M42 would be great right here. Alright, Dance is just on his way back. Let's wrap this one up. Hail Knight. If you're looking for a way to the end. So close. Please assist me in getting into the Institute. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. Eh, it was a piece of cake. I'm glad you feel that way. Because it only gets more difficult from here. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a oh, vertebrate nice. to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply I'm totally going to use grounds, those. And the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. 
yes. according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. The only logical explanation is that they've gone underground. That's where we need your help. I might have a way. I might have a way to get into the Institute. I believe there's a bit more to the story than you're telling me. But based on your actions so far, I'm willing to take you at your word. Now, indulge me for a moment by satisfying my curiosity. Tell me why you're so eager to get into the Institute. They killed my wife. The Institute will stop at nothing to further their own ends. Together, we'll make them pay for their crimes. I'll call ahead and brief Proctor Ingram. Report to the airport, and get to work on your project right away. Okay. So we're doing this at the airport. Okay, nice. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this stream of Fallout 4. Thank you all for coming. I'm gonna roll credits here in a second. For all of the awesome people doing awesome things in the chat. And then we're gonna find somebody to raid and give them a good day. Thank you all for watching. Sets are replacing humans with exact duplicates. All right. Let's go ahead and save this one. It makes me sick. Let's see if the credits roll right away. Properties, or do I have to refresh it? Does that do it? Ah, maybe I have to pull up Streamlabs. I think I have to do that all the time. It's a good thing I'm getting a third monitor. Because I need to, it seems like more, the more value I add to the stream, the more I need to have Streamlabs open on like a third screen all the time to make sure things operate. And especially the alert box, it's been messing up all the time. Oh, thank you so much, Sandcats. It was a good stream. I appreciate that, brother. Um, it's not test roll credits. It's roll credits live. Yeah, I, I, I guess I have to hit that button all the time. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so these are the awesome actions of the Batfam. Thanks for supporting the stream. These are the awesome people. Moderators, Beard Computer, of course. Thank you so much to the people of Streamlabs for creating awesome auto mod. Thank you to Cat Mermaid for being an awesome mod. An awesome subscriber of many, many months and it, probably past years now. Thank you so much to Sandcats for being a mod. Great mod. Thank you so much to Tolf for subscribing, uh, for following this today, and for Mr. Shroud for following today. You guys are awesome. Short but sweet. Awesome little credits. Um, okay, let's find somebody to raid real quick. Who do we got? Who's who's live right now? All right, we've got um, Wanderbots playing Mother Gunship. We've got Murda in real life. Let's see. We've got uh, Gibson. Spoon's playing. Fairway's playing. Zero's playing Fortnite. Let's see, what do we, we want to do? Everybody who's who's usually been playing Fallout is offline right now. Okay, so I'm going to select. 
All right, let's let's just send everybody over to Wanderbot real, real fast. All right, that's cool. All right, everybody, uh, stay tuned. Tomorrow is D and D night. We're gonna be playing Dungeons and Dragons, Blood Curse campaign. Uh, tune into Bad Sainless, Ephesus or Purple Phantom for the stream. It's gonna be a great time. Who? Five hundred percent secret detection radius. I should never miss another one. Did you have to kill everything to move through a room? No, you can.